Hi everybody, it's Jojo, and I'm here to do a um, candle day haul. All my candles finally came. Uh, but I don't know cream. Okay. But all my candles finally came, so I'm gonna do a um, candle haul. Um, they all came in the mail. I got quite a few candles. I I didn't remember picking up all these candles, but I kind of did. I got a lot. I got a lot more than I thought. Um, so eyeshadow palette, I have a mix of Blue Blood and Blood Sugar by Jeffree Star on my eyes. Lipstick is a Celebrity Skin Lip Liner from Jeffree Star with um, Nudist Colony Velvet Trap Lipstick and um, Beaded Glass Lip Gloss, all by Jeffree Star. Okay, well done. I mean, look. Look at this. I'm going to do an outfit of the day, so you guys are going to see like the whole sweatsuit in the outfit of the day, but isn't this cute? It's a little big. Um... I could have gotten a small, honestly, but, um, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Okay, so, uh, I gotta rub this in. Um, okay. Alright, so, um, I'm just gonna go, um, let's see. I'm gonna do, uh, the, the butter rum eggnog first. That's the one I'm gonna do first. Okay. So this is the one I'm currently burning. By the way, Candle Day has, was crazy online. Everything sold out in literally under five minutes. I'm not even kidding. It was cr crazy. Thank God I set my alarm. So I picked up three butter rum eggnogs. This is the one I'm currently burning right now. Um, I'm going to show the other two in a second. Um, yeah, this is the packaging. This is what I'm currently burning. Look, I'm halfway done already. I was just waiting for all the candles to arrive so I can finally do this haul. So this is Spice Eggnog Vanilla Bourbon Rich Buttercream and Shaped Eggnog are the keynotes. And these are the other two that I have not burned. So all together I have three. And then I still have one from two, three years ago when it first came out. Um, so yeah. So this is just like the same scent as the one that came out two, three years ago. Um, it's the same thing. Thank God they finally brought it back, but it's only online exclusive now. This is not in the stores. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. This smells a little like eggnog. Like, that's it. Like, there's really no, no other, um, no, it's like, this is just eggnog. I can see why they say, um, let me see. They don't, it's spice. It says spiced eggnog, but it should say spiked eggnog, K instead of a C, because it's a little bit butter rum eggnog. I do smell the rum, like it's a little bit alcoholic, like it literally smells like eggnog that you make on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. You put a little alcohol in it to spike it a little bit. It's literally the same thing. It, I do smell the vodka. I do smell a little bit of the rum with the with the butter rum with the um, eggnog. Yeah, there's definitely a spiked eggnog, and I always said that. Um, this is not just a regular eggnog, it's definitely spiked. Mmm, it's just so sweet, so festive, it's really nice. So yeah, I got three of those. Okay, now let's talk about a new, a newer one. So this is brand new, this came out, this is new, Sweet Cranberry Pie. I've never smelled this one before, this is brand new. Um, so this is Kinos to talk cranberries, brown sugar, chopped walnuts, and flaky pie crust. Yeah, this is new. They haven't done this one before. Oh, well, not that I know of, but this is so good. I only picked up one of these. I probably should have picked up more. You know me. I'm always, like, wanting doubles and triples of everything. Uh, but yeah, this, this is basically self-explanatory. It smells like a cranberry pie. Yeah. Yeah. The cranberries are definitely the keynote. Like I don't I don't think the bakery takes over that the bakery note is not that strong. The cranberries are definitely the uh stronger note out of the two. But you do definitely get the bakery. I don't get walnuts. I get the cranberries, the flaky pie crust, and the brown sugar. I don't get walnuts. Yeah, I don't get walnuts. The cranberry is definitely taking over. Like it's it's definitely a cranberry ish smell. Um, the cranberry is very strong. Yeah. Um, the pie crust, so the bakery note is making it s sweeter, because the cranberry is definitely tart, it's definitely, um, 
sour, sour, tart, whatever you want to call it. It's not a sweet cranberry. It's more tart, but um, the pie crust is making it a little more bakery, um, a little more gamond, whatever you want to call it. Whereas the cranberries and frosted cranberry candle is very sweet. Like that cranberry note is very sweet. This is more tart. Like these are tart cranberries with the pie crust. So I kind of like this a lot. This is a good one. Okay. Now let's switch gears a bit. I picked up one. This is one that was online. Watermelon Lemon A. This is the one that was exclusive to Candle Day. Uh, there was a few exclusive to Candle Day. This was the only one I picked up. Um, I really, really, God, I can smell it without even opening the lid. Um, I really love this candle. I really love the scent. I really love this packaging that they did for Candle Day this year. I really like this packaging. Um, I should have picked up multiples. So I love it. But I have one, I think, from last year. So there's Watermelon Ice, Sparkling Water, Mayor Lemon. Yeah, I don't even need to open up. This smells like a spring into summer day. Ugh, oh, it's literally watermelon. It's watermelon. Um, but you do get the, that tart uh, citrus lemon with the watermelon. It's a refreshing watermelon. It's a refreshing scent. It's fruity and it's refreshing. I really, really like this one. Yeah, I like that one for the spring. Okay, and then the other two, the other ones I picked up were New Year's Eve-esque candles. So I picked up two Black Cherry Malot because I realized I did not have any more Black Cherry Malot in my, my stash. So I had to pick up two more. And I think Candle Day, what was the price? Like nine something dollars to ten dollars, which is a really good price. Okay, Dog Cherry Black Raspberry and Sumptuous Malow are the keynotes. This is for the New Year's line. Ah, oh, this smells like literally like sweet dark cherries with that, um, just with that wine, that red wine note. It's really nice. It's like a cherry wine. It's really, really, really good. It's really good. The cherry is very candy-like, too. It kind of smells like cherry gummies. It's really, really good. Um, so I had to pick up two more of these. Love this. I burned this one. I burned this one in February. So it's like winter, about to go into spring. I think February is a good time because around Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? Okay. And then the last two I picked up was peach bellini. I've never had peach bellini surprisingly. I've never had it in candle form. So I picked up two of them. Yeah, I picked up two. Um, so this is succulent white peach sparkling prosecco. Prose Girl, someone corrected me. I'm saying prosecco but it's prosecco I think. I still don't even know how to pronounce it correctly. I don't even know but Sparkling Prosecco Girl, I have my own dictionary. Sweet Orange are the keynotes. Oh my god. I don't even know. Like, it, it's, 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 I'm torn between this because it kind of smells like a peach gummy ring. But then it also smells like a juicy peach without the candy note. And then it also smells like a citrusy... Bellini peach Bellini drink from Olive Garden like so it smells like a few different things to me like you get the juicy peach but then you also get the vodka alcoholic type of Bellini note um which I guess is the Prosecco so I get like the champagne wine note with the peach so it kind of re reminisce of um champagne toast but with champagne toast the evanescent champagne note is very strong with the little peach in it with the citrus this is like this i get more orange honestly i definitely get a healthy mix of the peach and the orange whereas champagne toast i only really get peach this i get peach and orange the peach is definitely a juicy peach with the citrus the orange and then with a little bit of the prosecco wine champagne out mm, it's very strong very sweet very fruity citrusy it's really really good okay so that's it. That is my candle haul, um, candle day haul of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to film one more video before I go. I'm going to film two more videos. I'm going to film out for the day and I'm going to film a, um, what am I going to film? I'm going to film a little bit of a story time, a little bit of a something I want to film because I want to get things off my chest. Okay. Um, I, I love you guys. Um, bye.